Days of overstuffed wallets in your back pocket or purse might soon come to an end. By 2020, mobile wallets on our smartphones are expected to surpass the use of credit and debt debit cards in the U.S. That has already happened in China. Ben Tracy is in Beijing to show us what a nearly cashless society actually looks like. Ben, good morning. Good morning. So when I moved here to China a couple of months ago, I kept getting funny looks every time I would pull cash out of my wallet to pay for things. And then I got one of these. It's a code on my phone. And now I can basically buy anything here in China. When you pay for something, how do you pay for it? Mobile phone. On the streets of Beijing, cash is definitely not king. What do you think of people who use cash to pay for things? That's rare and weird, he says. Only the elderly and people who don't know how to use a phone pay cash. This woman says, I rarely take my wallet when I go out, just my phone. That's because those phones can buy just about anything from clothes in the store to steamed buns on the street. They're used to pay for bike rides and bus rides, rent and utility bills. When was the last time you used cash? Yeah. A month ago? Wow, that's a long time. WeChat and Alipay dominate China's mobile market, and payments on their platforms totaled more than $5.5 trillion last year, a 200% jump from the year before and nearly 50 times more than the value of mobile payments in the U.S. One of the big reasons mobile payments have caught on so quickly here in China is because of what most people here don't have in their wallets, credit cards. They basically went from a cash-based society to a cashless one and skipped the step in between. China has leapfrogged the U.S. into going to a cashless society. Andy Mock is an economist in Beijing. He says China's cashless revolution has happened in just three years, largely thanks to these things called QR codes. You simply scan them with your phone to pay. Nearly every business and person has one. From the farmer's market to the musician on the street playing for a mobile tip you can give a homeless person money with your phone. You would never see that in the U.S. All you have to do is scan that code to transfer money. And it really is ubiquitous uh, in China, from the largest cities, the fanciest hotels, to the most humble street side shacks will all use QR codes. The Chinese are comfortable doing everything on their phones, while in the U.S., credit cards and online shopping via personal computers still rule. These kinds of uh, legacy technologies make any adoption of newer generations of technologies much more slower. So in this sense, I think the U.S. has a little bit of catching up to do. A recent survey found that 40 percent of Chinese people carry less than $15 on them, but they would never dream of leaving home without this. As one guy told me on the street, you can't achieve anything without your phone. Gail? <laughs> That guy on the street was very correct. Thank you, Ben Tracy. Didn't you love how he opened the piece when I moved to China yeah. a couple months ago? That sounded so cool. Thank you, Ben Tracy, reporting from Beijing.